Hey guys, it's Britt and welcome back to my channel. Today we are making edible cookie dough. Now, before we get started, I know there's gonna be comments about isn't cookie dough not baked? But hear me out for a minute. There's baking soda and baking powder in this, which you shouldn't eat raw. So go with me for a minute. <laughs> it's gonna be the same texture as cookie dough. So I call this edible cookie dough. Now this makes the perfect treat for, I would say around three nights. If you're making an eight ounce ramekin, it makes three perfect size ones. If you wanna use something smaller or larger, just know that the serving size might be a little different. I especially like to do this and again, have dessert for three nights. And this recipe is delicious. It's pretty weight loss friendly. There's no flour in it. I know, no flour, right? You're doing it right if you don't add flour to this recipe, that is correct. And it's very simple, so I just love having this on hand. Now, we're gonna get started. All of the measurements and everything are linked down below in the show note, as well as on our website with a free printable PDF. So you can just head down below get the entire recipe. You also can go again to our website and print out the recipe. And I try to make it as easy as possible. You will also see grams included in this as well, which is really awesome for everyone to make it. So we're gonna get started. So you just need one 15 ounce can of chickpeas, including the liquid. So this is even easier, right? You're just gonna dump the entire thing into a blender. Now I like using a blender I have also done this in a pinch in a food processor, but generally my food processor is pretty large, so you might wanna use a smaller one or double this recipe if you're gonna go that route. But a blender is really easy to have. All right, everything goes in. And because we're adding the liquid, we don't really need to add any more liquid. So again, really simple and easy. I have one fourth cup of a nut butter or seed butter that you've um, that you've made. Now you also could use a powdered nut butter if you want to cut back on the fat. That's what I did here. It's reconstituted if you use powdered nut butter to be one fourth cup. Okay, make sure you measure that out. But this is going to make it creamy and delicious. And it's going to give it that peanut buttery flavor. Same with the chickpeas. Now you can always sub things out, but just know that the recipe is written exactly how we enjoy it. And if you do make substitutions, um, I can't recommend it. it'll 100% work. So just keep that in mind. I always tell people too, to be super creative um, when they make our recipes and make it work for what you, what you like and what your family has. All right, up next is three large pitted dates. Now I use medjool dates for this. Um, I like three. You can play around with how many dates you wanna add. Three is the perfect sweetness for me. Think about it, it's pretty much a date in each ramekin, which is a nice smaller amount um, compared to some other sweet desserts that we have. And then the last ingredient for the blender is our baking soda and baking powder. So this is one half teaspoon of, of both. So one half teaspoon of baking powder, one half teaspoon of um, baking soda, so really easy. And then last up is our chocolate chips and I'm not gonna add them in. I want this to blend really nice and smooth. And then I just wanna fold in the chocolate chips. You also could add it just on top or leave it out. It's up to you. But I just have a couple 100% dark chocolate right here for me ready to go. So I'm gonna blend this until it's nice and creamy and I will see you guys in a second. Once you've blended and you're looking for that you can't see any chickpeas, you can't see the dates, everything is mixed in well, it should look like this. It is a little bit thinner than cake batter is what I would say, um, but it's gonna bake up beautifully. It's gonna rise because there's baking soda and baking powder in here. And now I'm just gonna add in our dark chocolate chips. Give them a gentle fold and it's ready to be baked. So really easy. Now this is gonna rise, so you don't wanna fill them up completely, but um, I would say three fourths of the way, and I'm using eight ounce ramekins today. You can use other things. Um, just know that depending on the size of it, you might get more servings or less servings, but I'm just gonna even them out. And this makes the perfect amount for dessert for three nights, if I don't share with my husband. <laughs> And to be honest, it just has such a great consistency of cookie dough that we love it. 
I will say too, is that if you're gonna have it um, a few nights from now, what I like to do is if you take it straight from your refrigerator, it's kind of like cake texture. But if you pop it back into the oven just to warm through, then it kind of comes soft again like cookie dough. So you can have it both ways. You can try it right out of the oven and then the second serving, third serving, you can try the other way and figure out what you like. But uh, we love this recipe. It's so easy and simple which is what I'm all about. All right, these are gonna go into the oven at 350 for 30 minutes, and you're gonna have dessert for three days. You, of course, could double this recipe or change it up, but I love this because it's just easy and simple. I will see you guys whenever they come out, but I know your entire family is gonna love this, and it just makes the perfect amount, and such a fun recipe that doesn't take a lot of time. And there you have our edible cookie dough, literally perfection in a cup. It makes three servings, an eight ounce ramekin is the perfect size, it is so good. So I love having these warm, so right out of the oven is perfection. But then if you wanna have it on day two and day three, um, you can have them straight out of the refrigerator cold, just know it will be more cake consistency. I just like to pop them back into the oven or their microwave until they're warm through and it's just as good as the first day. This literally is going to be your favorite recipe ever, I think. And if you love cookie dough, again, it's the consistency that reminds us so much of it. I know you guys are gonna like it. So make sure you subscribe, give this video a like, leave us a comment, and stay tuned because every Thursday I put out a new recipe for you guys, so you don't wanna miss it. And um, I apologize for the lighting in here. We have a bunch of really big windows in this room, which is awesome, but it's gonna take me a little bit to get used to, and um, we're just figuring it out. You know, new house, I have a new camera we're shooting on, we have a microphone, so I really appreciate all of the positive comments on our videos as I do try my best and work really hard on them. So I will see you guys really soon in the next one. Thanks so much. Make sure you check out all of the show notes down below for the recipe, and I know you guys are going to love this, so make sure you take photos and tag us on any social media content that you put up, but I'd love to see what you guys do with it. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.